Welcome back, travelers. It is a lot of havoc, and we are back right basically where we left off last time. Yes, um, got a couple things put together, <clears throat> got um, pretty much all the items we're gonna need to make what we need to make, right? So, first two things we're gonna need <clears throat> we want our uh, dark oak sapling, <clears throat> which, if I remember correctly, yes, was the nether ward, two gunpowder, and a rotten flesh. And I have three gunpowder, rotten flesh. And then the nether wart, I just got out of a, I mean, I've got the four that I had originally right there, uh, but I got uh, a loot bag and so I just got five more. So that was pretty cool. So we've got that. Unfortunately, this stuff, wherever it's at, where is it? Is it in a, did I put it in here? Yeah, I put it in there. This stuff only yields 75%, which means I'm gonna need two recipes to make it happen. And that's not gonna work. So basically, I'm gonna have a throwaway recipe, but I also need to make dirt as well. And dirt is made in here with enriched bone meal and soul sand. And once again, at a 75% yield, so that's gonna give me one dirt as well. So one of those will put me at 75. The second one will put me at 150, which will give me a yield, plus I'll have <clears throat> half the inventory left. And then if I do another one, which will be a 75, I'll get both of them. So I'll get one of each the, the way I'm planning on doing it. And it seems like this is the cheaper of the recipes because I can do two soul sand and I just need to make a couple of the enriched, which I believe was zombie and bone meal. I believe that's what that was. And so I should have enough to make that one, two, and then go like that. And now I've got eight enriched bone meal. Cool. So basically what I'm getting at here is um, I've got three of these and I can make three. So we're going to put two soul sand in. And I don't know, is it one? Nope, is it four? Okay, so it's four. And then, so that's a 75% yield, which means this is gonna go to 75% and then stop, okay. But then I put this one in and now this is actually gonna yield me my dirt. And then my buffer is gonna be at 50%. Then I can put in my two, my one. Oh, get out of there my one and my one and this should yield me my tree and if this yields me my tree oh we are headed in the right direction here so let's go ahead and put our tree no i don't want it that close to the edge it just seems like a really bad place to put it let's go ahead and put it over here on the corner um it should be clear to grow and then i can plant that and start twerking it out and i should be able to get my tree twerk 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 Keep twerking. I wonder if the enriched bone meal does anything useful. Come on, twerk it out, twerk it out, twerk it out. Come on, grow, grow, grow. Are you in like an ungrowable spot? Because that is right there. I don't, <clears throat> I, I, it shouldn't have to twerk that much, should I? I don't know if it's just because this, uh, let's, let's try doing this in a different spot. Let us try doing it right over here. That seems, oh, that's still like the same distance there. Um, I don't know, let's try it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Twerk it out, twerk it out, twerk it out, twerk it out. I, I kind of want to use the enriched bone meal and see if that works. I don't know. Twerk it out, twerk it out, twerk it out. Why aren't you growing? Because I don't want to lose the saplings if they fall off the edge. You know what? Let's just expand this out a little bit. Let's expand this corner, just this corner. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And... One, two, three, four, five. I think that's better. Okay. So we'll try putting our tree like right here and right there. And I just realized I'm in a deep ocean slime biome. I don't know if that's going to be limiting factor in, you know, getting things like animals to spawn and stuff. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but Wait, do I need four of these? Do dark oak saplings have to have four? Is that... Do I need four? Which means I would need quite a bit more, actually. Um, is it four that I need? Is that the, That's the problem I'm forgetting. Rotten flesh, not an issue. Gunpowder, I can get another wart. I've got enough to do three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then that means I would need five more gunpowder. Let's, well, there's a creeper over there. Hopefully we can get really lucky right now. 
And this guy just happens to drop like, you know, five gunpowder. Not very likely, but you never know. You never know. I only dropped one. Okay. So what I'm... Oh, hold on. I was going to say what I'm going to do is, you know, grind this out real quick, but maybe... But I am getting some armor, which is kind of cool. I did get a helmet or, or chest plate earlier in a loot bag, and now I have a helmet. And so we are starting to get a little bit of armor. But I'm going to go ahead and wait on some more creepers so I can get... Oh, I'm going to need more dirt too. Yeah, so let's go grind out all that material. Um, soul sand. Oh, am I going to need more? I'm going to need three more soul sand effectively and uh, yeah we'll get it figured out but i need mobs to start spawning first so i'm gonna wait for those guys to start spawning once they do start doing their job and i can get some more gunpowder and stuff um then we'll kind of see where we're at in that um well let's see is there a way to get soul sand uh soul sand there you are soul sand can be made in a freezer an alchemy recipe um crafting sand and wither dust i don't definitely don't have that um dark sugar how do i do dark sugar dark sugar is one of these weird things with sugar yeah i can't do that yet anyways um soul flux flux for magic bees coarse dirt so I need a dirt to make soul sand, and that's that's kind of counterproductive. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to wait on mobs to start dropping. And, oh, if I can get the plant matter, do I have anything to farm? Leaves, uh, potatoes, carrots, is that sawdust, sugar. How can I get sawdust? A rock grinder on wood. Well, I don't have wood yet, but... I, these are really cheap to make. I know that. Um, yeah, but I don't have the wood yet. That's what we're trying to get. All right. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to grind this out with the mobs. And then we will be back once I can make enough dirt and, um, and the trees. So, we will be back once I get all the stuff done. So while I was waiting for the grinder to keep going, I realized that by getting the dirt and the sapling, I did actually finish this quest up here. Uh, we're here at all start. So we've got the dirt and we've got the oak sapling or whatever. So I can claim that, which should unlock something I'm assuming. And then this is where we get the choice of, you know, which mode we want to do. So kitchen sink, basically um, you can just do everything, right? And then you've got stage modes. It says in stage mode to progress through one mod, you need to progress through another. Even though there are no recipe changes, not being able to use certain items adds a layer of difficulty. However, if you dislike a certain mod, you can just simply rush through it. Okay. And then the last one, gated mode is just like stage mode, but to unlock the next stage, you need to hand in certain items from the required stages. That's kind of what I'm thinking we want to do. So basic resources, we can get some wood, which we're trying to do right now. And also to get some wood. So apparently that didn't really help much, but I just thought as I was standing around here waiting for mobs to spawn, it just kind of popped into my head that, hey, might as well, you know, take a look and see. So I'm going to continue to grind out the mobs here and eventually get enough gunpowder and stuff. I think that's really all I'm waiting on is gunpowder. And I'm hoping maybe I'll get something cool in the loot bags, like an oak tree sapling. I know oak saplings are something you can get in bags. The white ones specifically. Um, yeah, we can do that. Angel heart vial. Resurrect you once it breaks. Ooh, interesting. Um, we'll put that with the grave dust because I don't care about that stuff right now. If I don't really know what it does, I don't care about it. That's kind of my, my theory right now. So, oh, and I did get some bread, which I should probably eat. There we go and still didn't quite get all the way to the point of needing normal hearts full. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to grind and wait for these mobs to spawn so we can start getting more saplings and get this all built up. So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, travelers, so I think we've got everything we need now. Uh, two of these, 
one of these and one of these. That's not going to give us our sapling, but the next two will, right? That one won't. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, two. And then this should actually give us our next two saplings. So now we actually have four saplings. Once this one finishes, there we go. And now we just need to get three more pieces of dirt, which is going to be three more pieces of soul sand, which, oh, the very next recipe will actually do it. Okay, so I need zombie flesh and bone. Okay, I got, I've got that. So one, two, three, four. Let's just make up a whole bunch here. I only need three, right? One, two, three. Cool. And then I need three more soul sand. So let's just take out this right here. Like so. And now I can actually show you something kind of cool I just found. You have access to your ender chest on your inventory. I did not know that. I was kind of clicking around while I was just sitting around, you know, grinding stuff out. And all of a sudden I clicked on that and I was like, oh, what's this? And it, went, boop, it opened up my ender chest. That was pretty freaking sweet. So awesome, 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 awesome. So basically here goes one more piece of dirt. And I don't want to waste the soul sand, so I'm going to do another recipe of, um, how many is it using? I can't quite tell how many it's using per. Uh, I should probably just look at the recipe. <clears throat> but I need two of you, one of you, and one of you to burn up one. So this will get that to 75. Right? And then you... <clears throat> And you, okay, so it's using three per, okay. So there's one dirt there. And I need one more dirt right there. And now I should have my four dirt. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this is, this is coming along. This is coming along nicely. Keep picking up cobblestone. I have been turning it into compressed cobblestone just because I'm starting to actually get quite a bit. Like I've got almost two full stacks of compressed and a couple stacks. So yeah, so it, it's getting there. All right, so now we've got you, and now if I torque it out, now you guys should do happy things for me and create a really big giant tree, right? There's my big giant tree. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Now let's go ahead and vein mine you down, and hopefully I'll get at least some of the saplings. Good, I got five, six saplings. All right, cool. Let's do this again. And now we're heading in the right direction. And, oh, I'm so happy. We've got wood now. I can actually make a chest and get rid of a lot of this garbage. All right. I don't know how smart vein mining is right now, knowing that I don't have a lot of food. I've been munching on some zombie flesh every now and then, or whatever, rotten flesh. And I, I know I'm going to need some food soon. At least I'm getting apples from the dark oak, so that's cool. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, you're going to leave one freaking floating one up there, aren't you? Aren't you? You son of a gun. Ay, ay, ay. Um, well, let's let's make up a chest real quick since we've got this. And one, two, three, four. And just get some of the stuff out of our inventory. And where shall we put you? We will put you... Um, yeah, we'll put you right here. Kind of like just building into this little cover thing here for right now at least it's a nice little compact setup so all right let's dump all of this stuff yes everything 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 and how am i going to break that one piece of wood <laughs> let me grab some wood real quick and make myself another pickaxe because i have wood now i have wood oh i'm so happy okay and all my cobble is in here. So now I can make myself an axe. Like a so. Probably don't need that much, but whatever. Okay. And there we go. Let's. I just. I need a slab. <laughs> I need a slab. Uh, okay. Right there. Just so I can get up here. Now, can I reach you? 
No, I cannot. So let's build up real quick. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but whatever. All my saplings keep going away. <laughs> I mean, I still got enough, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to grow out this platform just a little bit. So that's, that's okay. I can handle that. I just don't want to keep losing saplings here. Um, actually, you know what? I can make my builders one now. Like so. And that'll simplify the process quite a bit. You know what? And let's make ourselves up some more slabs. Because I do not want to waste any more uh, saplings. Because I know I can make that, that green stuff. I, I looked at it a second ago. Um, I don't know what it's called right now, but it's like instant plant growth, if I remember correctly. It basically just builds your tree like instantaneously, and that would be awesome because then I can basically just have stuff keep dropping on me or shearing. I can shear. Ooh, can I make shears yet? That could be good. Um, I'm good with this now. Uh, iron shears, definitely not. Clay shears. Um, how do I get clay? Well, let's see if there's something in the book. Um, detect. There you go. And there was an, okay, claim. And then there was another one over here that needed 10. Claim. There we go. And so now we're opening the other stuff up. Awesome. Oh, like basic resources. Here we go. Oh, and speaking of the plant matter, a plant matter, that's what it's called. Um, yes, now, now we're heading in the right direction. Now we are heading in the right direction. I'm excited. I am so excited. Okay, I want to widen this up just a little bit to make sure we're not losing any saplings. All right, and I'll let you guys grow normally while we take a look at some of the other items that we can make now. So what do we need to make? Um, well, mob farm. Oh, ooh, I've already got that. So let's claim that loot chest and hopefully we get something good here. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Magenta balloon. Um, not quite what I was thinking about as useful, but whatever. Um... Come on, 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 come on. Grow. There we go. Let's go ahead and get some more saplings real quick. Because that sapling, the saplings can be turned into that plant matter if I have enough. And I have enough. There we go. So now I can make this plant matter stuff like this. I think it is. Yes. And that should be another quest complete. Yeah. Now we're knocking out some quests. Uh, plant matter. Ooh, and that's another loot chest. So let's claim that and see what we get. Hopefully something really useful. A leaf blower. <sighs> Whoa. Okay. Um, apparently it takes saplings out of the ground. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, leaf blower. Interesting. We'll put you away for right now. Now, does this matter work? Oh, it does. It's instant growth. Okay. So we can start knocking out some cool stuff here. Um, wow. Sapling's still going off the edge over there. And tell me, I, I only got four back from that one? Oh, that could be really, really dangerous. Let us make sure this platform is completely big enough not to lose any of these saplings. I can't afford to lose saplings right now. I just, no, they're too expensive to make. <laughs> too much of a process. Okay, this should be good. This should be nice and safe. I keep saying should, but we'll see. All right, so you should drop enough saplings now to get me back on track. Okay, and of course not. Look how close that is. That is crazy. Um, and I need to make myself another axe. Dink, dink. Oh, wait. Uh, one, two, three. And make that axe like so. Cool. Yeah. New, happier tools soon. Be very, very useful. Okay, how many? Did I get at least four saplings? Where? I only have three saplings now. What? 
How is that even possible that out of that entire tree I only got three saplings? Ay, yeah, yeah. Can you. Can we do two? No, it has to be four. Oh, I gotta make another one. Um, and that means. Okay, I've got enough in there. Uh, what is that? Two gunpowder. What was it? Um. Dark oak sapling. What was it again? I'm already out. Uh, two gun, one nether, one rotten. That's easy. Oh my goodness. One rotten, one nether. But I have no more gunpowder. Did I leave anything in this? Just the five of those. Okay, and I'm down to one. But, okay, that's going to produce. So let's... There's no, of course there's no creepers over here. Oh yeah, there is, okay. I was like, you know what? There's always creepers when you don't want them. There it is, cool. Uh, is it two? Or is it just one? Two, perfect, okay, cool. So then we can go make at least one more sapling. Oh, it's kind of annoying that I need four and I'm not getting it. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, if this happens again, I'll be a very, very sad camper. All right, so we're almost done. That one's almost used up. Cool. Now we've got you. All right, so let's let's grow you again. I used my plant matter already, so okay. Come on. I think I only counted three. I only counted three. Oh, four. Okay. How do I replicate these? I need a lot more. Basically, long and short is I need a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to grind this out and get some of these um, uh, saplings kind of stocked up. Uh, there's a couple more there. Because I've seen a whole bunch drop off the edge already. And so I, I now have it all blocked off. So I should be able to get caught back up on them. And be happy pretty soon but we'll see oh yeah there you go now your rain and something there we go now now we're talking now we're cooking with fire all right cool so maybe one more just to get a couple extra I'm gonna need to make a new axe let me just do that first um, one two three one two and let's just absorb you there you go thank you and there we go. All right. How many am I at now? Now I'm at 13. Okay, that's a slightly better number. That's a slightly better number. So what were we looking at there? We've got that one. Uh, water extractor. Let's look that bad boy up real quick and see what we need here. Uh, water extractor is just five planks. That's simple. Then the compress is five of those. So I need 25 planks. I can do that. Um, 32, sure that, that does it too. And even amount. I love this thing over here. Um, like I said, this is a lot of this is new to me. So if you want to laugh at me because this is something you've seen a hundred times before, by all means, you know, laugh at me. It's cool. It's all new to me. Like the, the rotating, the grid, the balance, the grid, the clear out the grid. This is all new territory and I'm kind of liking the new setup. And then also this, uh, what do they call it, J-E-I? Is that what this is called? Um, yeah, like when I click on you, yeah, this stuff. The fact that you can go through the different mods and see how it is, so you don't just have to look like for specific recipes or whatever. All right, so now what does this extractor actually do now that I made it? Uh, you can hold right click and let go with a water extractor to collect water from leaves, snow, or cacti. Interesting. You can place water by, ooh, infinite water. Infinite water, I'm feeling infinite water in our future. Let us see how this works. All right, I still have nine saplings, so we're doing okay there. So if I hold like that. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty nifty. Okay. I don't know how much water I'm getting, but can I just keep sucking water out, like pulling more and more and more? 
Nope, it just seems to do so. Oh, and it drops the saplings too. Okay, awesome. So I'm not losing potential saplings here. All right, does it tell me how much is in it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got 1,200 millibuckets. Let's go up and get the rest here. Like so. There we go. All right. All right, I think that's pretty much all of it. Let's chop this tree down. Like so. And let's see how much we got now. Uh, 1540, so we're gonna need another tree. Not a problem. This is interesting, like totally different way to get water. Um, you know, definitely not the old uh, barrel method, which is, I mean, I appreciate different and unique and I don't know exactly how you would just suck water out of leaves, but I guess it kind of goes, you know, in the same way that you used to get water from leaves in a crucible, so. Or catching rain. All right. Uh, I think I saw a sapling drop, but it's okay. Just get as much as I can. All right, cool. And let's go ahead and chop this tree down. Cool. Get all that wood. Now, let us create an infinite water source, like right over here. Uh, okay. So those are half slabs. Um, okay, so this is gonna be where the water sits. So this is what's gonna contain. I just, I have to break that blocker, it's gonna annoy me. There we go. And I believe it said shift right click to output. So let's try that real quick. Oh. Although I quickly clicked and so. I gotta do it a little bit more. <laughs> Shoot. It's all right, we're heading in the right direction, so. I'm not too upset about that. I just accidentally double clicked and apparently placed the same source block in the same spot so I didn't get my infinite spring or my infinite source. But that's okay. We'll get some more water really quickly, like I so. And it's just too high. This tree is just too high. Aye, 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 okay. Good. I'm trying to extract, yeah, from the outside. Oh, actually, you know what? I probably want to extract from the middle so then I do get saplings to drop. That way there's floating saplings that could potentially drop, uh, or floating leaves that could potentially drop saplings. So let's like start sucking from here. There you go. So then those ones out there, they start to, I don't know, what's the word? Deteriorate? I don't know. They start to fall. And then, do I have a second one? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. We'll just do this and let the last few hopefully drop a couple saplings. Or not, because I broke my axe again. Okay. All right, so infinite water spring. Got it. Perfect. Let's make ourselves one more axe to get this tree down real quick. And I need some planks first. All right, cool. So this is, I'm, I'm digging this. I am really digging this. This is different. It's unique. I'm really, really uh, enjoying the different kind of, the way of getting started and stuff. It's really kind of cool to me. And now I will leave you here like so. Okay, so we've got an infinite water source. So we've got, got water going, which is awesome. We've got wood, which is awesome. So let's see what else we got to do. Um, let's, let's claim our loot chest. Can't forget to do that. And where are you at? There you are. And rainbow bricks. That doesn't seem all that useful right now, so. Let's clear out our inventory. I hate having a full, uh, filled up inventory like that. Um, I can't do shear. Ooh, I get the clay shears. How do I get clay? How do I get clay? Clay can be gotten from, um, does the book say? 
I saw something about clay in here. Yeah, right there. It's the next one. Uh, by inserting water into dirt, you are able to make clay or compress clay by inserting it into compressed dirt. Ooh. Um, I don't have any extra dirt. Is there a different way to make dirt? Like, am I getting to the point now where I can make dirt in another way? Is there something I can do here? Oh, there's alchemical. Um, oh, the combustion. Oh, that plant matter can make dirt. Well, that's cool. Four of those, which I get from five, like, saplings and stuff, which do I have any extra? I have two. Okay, I don't want to do that just yet. But if I can get some more saplings, then I can make some more plant matter, throw it in the combustion, and then we'll be heading in the right direction. All right, how many saplings? Oh, lots of saplings. Oh, quite a few. All right, come on, keep going, keep going. All right, so only five. <laughs> Thought I got more than that, but... All right, cool. And let me eat some apples, too. While we're twerking. We're eating and working at the same time. Okay. And... And another broken axe. Jeez. I, how many axes have I gone through so far? Um, let me see. Some sticks. Okay, I'm up to three extra. That's just not enough right now. And... Let's make ourselves another axe real quick. And I think we should be should be doing okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Not a lot of saplings. I'm not getting a lot of saplings. This is crazy. Are there like any that are like kind of landing around here that I'm just not noticing and landing on top of it? No, nope. I literally got three that time. Oh my goodness. Oh, the mouse is backwards. That's weird. All right, so I guess we'll just keep grinding at it because clay is the next step, which means I need to make dirt. And if there's a much easier way to do it than making that alchemical chemical stuff, um, I would say that that's probably the more advisable way to do it because plant matter seems like it's a lot cheaper with just a little bit. Oh, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. And let me grab one of these. This could be kind of sketchy to do. But there we go. We got plant matter. Oh, wait. Did I need four? I think I needed four. Uh, yeah, shoot. Oh, goodness. All right. So I need five extras of these. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep grinding away at this until I get enough saplings to have a surplus of saplings as well as as well as get the plant matter that we need. So I'm gonna keep grinding away at it and we'll be back. All right, so not a huge surplus, but I've got like um, six extra saplings with the four planted. And so I can make a little bit more of this plant matter now and then throw that in the combustion guy over here. And yeah, and then I have wood on me, right? No, but I can grab some. I don't know how much I'm going to get per actual log, so that'll be interesting to see. Hey, get back over here. All right, so I need a four plant matter. My goodness, go in the darn thing. There we go. And then put the top back on this bad boy. Okay, and then let's put one in and see how much we get. 300, okay. So that'll take me to 600 there. Bingo, bango. And we got another piece of dirt. Okay, cool. Now let's place our dirt down here and grab our little water gun thing. Where you at? There you are. Um, do I need a full bucket? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because I've got an infinite spring over here. Okay. I wonder how much this actually holds. Well. It doesn't seem to be collecting. Oh. Because I was putting water buckets down. Jeez. Okay. So. It holds at least four buckets. Cool. Now, is it just right click? Oh, and it turns into clay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. We're heading in the right direction. We're starting to head in the right direction. So that should be an achievement completed. Nice. We'll go ahead and claim that. 
And it looks like now we're going to be heading out in this direction. So let us see what's in our loot chest here. Oh, a diamond builder's wand. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, that makes me a happy person. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do a little check, uh, check on time and then also see what uh, reasonable things we can do in the next couple of minutes. So let me check on time and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just realized that it's about, it's about that time, right? But I did want to do at least, you know, one or two more little achievements and stuff like that. And I realized that I wasn't looking at everything. And I also have some tinker things we can do. And so I'm just coming over here to kill these guys because, well, why not, right? And uh, we'll get, knock out a couple more of the quick quests and then call it today. I think it was pretty darn successful. You know, a lot of it was just staring at trees. But, you know, when we're just getting all of our, you know, first level stuff done, it's kind of a necessity. So... We're going to go over here and see what we can knock out tinkers wise, which basically means I know I'm just going to need a lot of wood and let's see what we got in this loot bag here. Some congealed blood. I already got some of that before. Um, yeah. So tinkers, what do we need to do for tinkers? Um, there's a couple things. There's a uh, basic fluid storage. Interesting. Um, I just got exposed to these when I was checking out, um, the, the Lost Souls when I was starting that first episode up. And these are kind of interesting. It's like a, a quick, easy way to get started with uh, the Tinker Smeltery. However, you can't make the alloys with them. But, you know, it's cool. Whatever. So I need to make a tool station, a stencil table, and a part builder. That's, that's easy peasy stuff. Oh, I've already got the wood. So let's just go ahead and make a whole set here. So crafting table... And, oh, you know what? I need to make let's make some sticks real quick. Just tons of them. Well, not tons, but you know. Uh, balance them out. 16. Cool. That's what I wanted. And oh, I need planks. So I need eh, whatever. 20. Fine. <laughs> whatever. I needed oh no, I need more than that. Um, I still need more, but whatever. That That's enough. Okay, that's enough. Um, yeah, there we go. So there's 64 of those. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we got it. All right. So, uh, crafting with well, that. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't have to switch it over. Okay. There's you and you for my stencil. Right. And then you for my part builder. Right. And let's make ourselves a chest real quick. This is all kind of coming back to me. I haven't done tinkers in a while. Those, and then might as well just go ahead and make another table. I mean, we know we're gonna make a whole bunch anyway, so. So let's go ahead and put these together. And this is also something that I just learned. I didn't know what the new, um, the new way that they do uh, tinkers, like how the tables all kind of combine together. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, so I know I'm just kind of rambling right now, but my mind is, uh, going to the tool station there. Oh, there we go. Part builder, stencil table. Cool. And then the chest will just go at the end here. And then now you can access them all that, that to me is so cool right there. Um, yeah, like I can go to the stencil table and there's a pattern. So I can put you in there and say, we want to make, oh, I don't know. Um, a pickaxe then I can just make those put them in there um, That means I would need a binding and put that in there and then that like that and put it in there and Then we could just go to well, let's say the tool station uh, Wait the tool station. I can't pull them out. Why I thought I could pull these out from the other tables I thought that's how it worked. I don't know So let's go to the part builder real quick. We're gonna make a well, we'll just make stone stone for right now is fine and we'll make a stone there. And then for that, we'll just do wood. Wood will be fine. Okay, there we go. And then I go to my tool station and I go to pickaxe and bink, bink, bink. And there we go. So now I can do that. And then also I go to my stencil table and I, this is something new to me. The sharpening kits is something completely new to me. So if I go to the part builder and put you in there like that and then throw in some more stone I get a couple sharpening kits cool all right I'm I'm digging on this 
We are headed in the right direction. Um, my part builder is this one. See, I thought you'd be able to access it from all of them. Stencil table can access all of them, which is interesting. Oh, I wonder if they have to be touching. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Um, here is me trying to be creative here. So I have four tables, right? That's what I have. Okay, so if I do this, right? I wonder if this is how it is. It's like whatever it's touching because the stencil table happened to be the one that it was touching. So if I do this, now if I go to the stencil, I can access them. If I go to the part builder, there they are right there. Okay, cool. And I can just pop you in there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now I'm doing good things and I don't need them there, but that's kind of cool. So I guess I could just put it in the middle, but um, in the middle of these two tables, this one doesn't need it, but that's, I don't know, I'll figure out how this stepped up. But there we go, so we've got Tinkers done. Let's claim that one real quick. See what we get. A magnifying class, crafting material. Let me take a closer look from Silent Gems. Any other easy ones we can do before we go? A drying rack, I can do a drying rack really quickly. And I can start drying out some of this rotten flesh for some food, because I am hurting for food, that's for sure. So let's make up, oh, I don't know. We'll say six drying racks like so, and then I can kind of put them around the edge over here, kind of like that, and they kind of float, that's funny, okay, there we go, and then now I can start drying out some rotten flesh, just for some monster jerky or whatever, so we are definitely headed in the right direction, I like it, um, it's, I'm just having fun, plain, plain and simple, I'm just having fun, a lot of new stuff to kind of start trying to figure out, um, little organization I gotta get going on, but all in all, um, I'm digging this. I'm definitely digging this. I hope you guys are digging it too. And I hope this is something you guys want to see more of. If it is, go ahead and hit that like button. Just so I know. Also, if there's any advice you have for me or, you know, fun little things that I could, you know, possibly benefit from knowing from leave a comment down in the comment section. Y'all know how it is. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.